While the country gears up for the inauguration of Donald J. Trump this Friday, another group of people prepares to make sure the new administration represents their interests. Casey Geraldo spoke with a Milwaukee woman leading a group of Wisconsinites to the Women's March on Washington Saturday. Casey. That's right, George. One of the march's leaders tells me it's not against the president-elect Trump, but an effort to hold him and other lawmakers accountable to make choices for all Americans. With two to 3,000 Wisconsinites going and many other states involved, the march could end up being bigger than the inauguration itself. Saturday, Jessica Hughes will walk with hundreds of thousands of people in Washington. But today, she walks with us, explaining how one woman's concern over the contentious election turned into a movement. We started a Facebook group for her and a few of her friends. That Facebook group has grown into a march estimated at two to 300,000 people from across the country, including right here in Wisconsin. Within less than a week, we had a national organization going. An organization built through this page, full of people who don't even know each other. I have only met one other person who will be attending from Wisconsin. But the women and men with permits and plans to march in D.C. Saturday share a common message. There have been a lot of, of pretty, pretty divisive comments that have been made, not just by the incoming administration, but by some of the sitting members of Congress. And it mattered to us to let them know that we expected them to honor their promises for inclusivity. Hughes says important issues include workplace equality and women's health. And that's actually going to be our poster. Wisconsin's poster will read a quote from Susan B. Anthony saying, we ask justice, we ask equality, we ask that all civil and political rights be guaranteed to us and our daughters forever. The women organizing this march also have help from Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter. They have permits to march about a mile, but with the group they have, Hughes says that march will likely take most of the day.